Mother's Day, you can count on Hobby Lobby to have outstanding gifts for outstanding moms. With That's nothing. And then suddenly, suddenly coming back from nowhere. And suddenly... Hi, beloved in the laws. My name is... Yes, hey, Melissa. This is Emily Holt's vision. With Lydia, I'm so glad to welcome you to yet another prophetic word. May the Almighty God bless you and keep you safe, sound, and protected. Someone took a risk that resorted to nothing, and then suddenly, suddenly coming back from nowhere, and suddenly returning from nowhere. Someone took risk. Lord, we thank you, O oh God, for your presence. Thank you, O oh God, for your power, for your grace. Lord, sanctify this entire environment, O oh God. Lord, let your name be glorified in this place. Touch your people, O oh God. May your word sink deep in their hearts. May your word make meaning in their lives. O oh God, may they rejoice in you. Lord, protect them. Lord, send this message far and wide. May your name alone be glorified above every other name. Hallelujah. We cast down all imaginations that try to rise up against your word. We destroy all the tongues that have been trying to bring your word to judgment. Lord my God, glorify yourself. Glorify yourself. Glorify yourself. Glorify yourself. May all things work together for good in the name of our Lord and Savior Christ Jesus. Thank you, Yahushua Mashiach. So the Lord is saying that someone took risk. They took risk. Like this, they saw you, you were really so easy to penetrate. You were easy to manipulate. You were easy to get along with. You were like you made things be easy for some people. And because you made things easier for them, they thought that you were like really so cheap, you were too available, you were everything, you were like, like, they, they, like they became tired and they didn't know that God was actually using you, the be to God, to teach them certain things. God was using you to save them from situations. They didn't know that God was actually using you to change situations in their lives. They didn't know that God had to use you to show them the way. And you were just simply obeying the Lord and doing the right things. And then they, they turned. The enemy seduced them, lured them into lured them into thinking of something else. And then they went about doing something else. They went about chasing the wind. They went about chasing things that as man are supposed to be chased. And then got themselves trapped, got themselves humiliated. Got themselves disgraced, rejected, abandoned, scammed. Someone refused to hear God's words by sticking around. They thought the grass was greener on the other side. They thought that they need to go further to search. They thought there was something better, something glorious, something wonderful. And while they were making them to understand, that God had a purpose and God had that, that, that God sent you into your life was something they really could not believe, they could not understand it. They could not understand it because, of course, the things of God are foolishness to a carnal man. First Corinthians 2, verse 14. But the natural man does not receive the things of the spirits of God, for they are foolishness to him. Nor can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. Because the things of God are not perceived physically. The things of God are spiritually understood, are spiritually perceived, are spiritually discerned. But someone was still very much in their flesh and they could not really understand what was happening. They could not really, so even, even no matter how, beloved, not understanding what was happening is not an excuse. They were supposed to listen to you. To understand things of the spirits, to know where to move, but they refused and decided to go on a very, very dangerous. They took a dangerous journey. 
and then landed themselves in serious situations. Someone is regressing wherever they are this moment. Someone is, someone is not doing well. Someone has been scammed, manipulated, rejected, disgraced. And I noticed that some of them actually came back. Some of some people came back into your life recently, or some someone someone contact, contacted you recently. Love they faced it out there. That was why they came back. And I know you see that some of them are going to be coming back. Some of them are going to be coming back because they have to finish the assignment of God in their lives. They thought they could escape. Oh my God, the act of escaping went wrong. The act of escaping from God went wrong. Watch how they're going to be coming back one after the other. Watch how they're going to become showing up back. Some of them are already showing up right now. Because the act of escaping went wrong. Glory to God. Don't worry yourself. When they come, just watch. Just see them. Just look at them and just smile. And just, and just, 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 just understand that God has done something in the spirit that she got them. To make a huge turn and come to honor God's calling. Hallelujah. It's not all about them being with you. No, it's all about them fulfilling God's purpose. You went into your life to, to, to show them the way, to open their eyes, their minds, to see things. But because they were so rebellious, so rebellious in their own ways, they went about doing things and thought it was going to be great. But they are regretting where they are right now. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God bless you. Stay the course. Keep going. In the Lord your God shall contribute with you always and always. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Yahushua Mashiach. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Christ Jesus. Faith is our vehicle and love is our strength. See you in the next week. Hallelujah. Perfect.